Well, I've been living here most of my life. Um, my wife is here. My children are here. They went to school here. I, I love the people that live here. It's a very unique group. I'm excited that we're all working together. You know, we're opening the doors up. We're inviting people in to tell us what's on their mind. What ideas do they have for a better community? And so we're trying to create an atmosphere where the government works to create a better quality of life for our residents here. Well, right now, Erin Lynch, who works at the town hall, she's kind of spearheading these efforts in this planting. She's been running around planting annuals, mulching with me, um, making sure things are watered, etc. But she's really, she's kind of the, the impetus behind it. They have me there to help get materials and dream up parts of it and, you know, do some design work. But she deserves an enormous amount of credit because she works very hard in the office and then after hours, you know, working on this project. We're getting volunteers out. And, and most importantly, we're uh, redoubling our efforts to create a healthier community with our young people our, and our seniors. We want to create a more walkable community, more walking opportunities. We have every other weekend or more, we have work groups, volunteer work groups led by our people that are focusing on the key areas of Bethel, uh, the landscape areas, our public parks. And across the street is a clock tower, a beautiful stone clock tower that was built by Steve Dubrovsky um, and now it's not, nothing has really gone on with it for quite a few years and there's a tiny fence around it. So I went to the owner and I said, look, it's kind of the entrance, the gateway of Bethel. How about we get this fence down and Bethel First will come on board and spruce it all up and really embellish it. So making the turn into Kanayanga Lake, we'll have the trees on one side, which it's had, but now there'll be new ones, big ones and different plantings. And the clock tower on the right will be just beautiful, really special. It's pretty nice now anyway, but this will help it a lot. What's most important in a community is both government and people binding together because the community needs a sense of leadership and under um, a good sense of leadership can bond together to make a community grow. And that's what we're starting to see. I mean, it's visible throughout the town. You can see a certain vibe and energy going on, just sitting on the lake or having fires in tents. This area really talks about the old adage, it takes a village. You know, when that first adage came out, it came out about um, helping with children. But I think it takes a village for many things. So it's more than just the trees and more than just the physical environment. It's the people that engage in, in many of these activities and really in bring that sense of community home. The only thing I do, if I, if I plant flowers now in the community, if I do this great thing, if I run for office, if I make a million dollars, that's really not going to matter. What's going to matter is how I behave toward others, how, how I influence my grandchild, and what I can do and what I can promote in his eyes so that he becomes the good person he can become. There's not much time to, to do that, to really influence people and make a difference. But if I make a difference in my grandchild's eyes, he's going to influence that many more people. You know, like the pebble dropping in the water. That's what I can do. I can tell him that this place is a good place. Do something for this place. Do something for this earth. Do something for your community.